Alright guys, welcome to another episode. Today I want to show you guys how I rig up and fish for panfish. It's two different ways. One is with a long pole. This is a 10 foot pole. Both and I and the other pole would be just a normal pole, just like a six foot, six and a half or whatever. And this refers to fishing for panfish in gin clear water where the fish are a little smarter than regular lakes. This is the only time you'll ever see me use fluorocarbon. I put six flat six pound cigar fluorocarbon on here. You want any kind of advantage you can possibly have to make them fish bite you instead of other people. I also use a clear float. As you can see here in front of me, this is, un this is unscrewable and you can fill it with water to cast further. I set my bobber exactly 30 inches. If I'm fishing very deep water, I do not use a bobber, but I also do not use a split shot. I like my worm to free fall where it has a natural presentation. I also do not use a split shot while using a bobber. That light six pound fluorocarbon allows me to cast just a worm and a hook as far as I need to. The only time I will use a split shot is in one lake that I know where the red ear can be as much as in 25 feet of water. I use a gold Aberdeen, uh, preferably not gold, but that's all they had. Just a small size four hook. A cricket hook will work. You want a thin, narrow hook. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys how I hook my worms. I do not use night crawlers. I like to use big reds. I hook two worms on these. I hook the first worm through the fat end first, like so. And I only put this worm about a third of the way on, just enough to hold it on. And then I let the rest of that worm hang down. The reason I want the thin end of that worm hanging down is because that end of the worm wiggles more. Now for my second worm, I do the exact opposite. I do not hook him through the body until halfway down the worm, but I run it up toward the fat end. And that creates also another half of a worm hanging down, both of them on the thin end, so it does a lot of wiggling. Fish cannot resist the natural fall of this double red worm. Now crickets work good, but they're just a hassle to me. It's hard for me to find them half the time. They stink. They jump away from you and they get robbed very easy by bluegill, red ear, and warmouth. And when I refer to panfish, that's what I'm talking about. Bluegill, red ear, warmouth, green sunfish. In waters where the water is clear and they're a little bit smarter. This 10 foot pole allows me to not have to cast. I can stand right on the bank and set it down exactly where I want. You can also use a 15 foot pole. Now I like to have my drag really weak with this fluorocarbon in case I would accidentally get a channel cat, carp, buffalo, whatever it is, bowfin. Now it is very important to not use a split shot because that makes that worm act not natural on the fall. When this thing falls, it falls really slow. And those, with those two ends hanging down, they just cannot resist it. You can see it in the water and it just looks like a, a squid falling. The reason I use the fluorocarbon is to have another advantage. I got crystal clear line. This is crystal clear water, so that gives me two advantages right there, guys. With the clear bobber, or three, the long pole, the fluorocarbon, and the clear bobber. Let's see if I can get on one, guys. Today I'm trying for spawning warmouth bluegill and red ear. What I do with this long pole, I let out enough line that I need like this and I don't cast it. I just set it down as quietly as I possibly can. These fish may not bite for about another half an hour. 
and the lake has really changed since last week. There's a lot of new vegetation and moss. There's a lot more to get on my hook today than there was just one week ago. It's really grown up. I caught a two pound bluegill here last week. So there's the possibility of me getting a really nice fish. I cannot believe how crowded it is for a Thursday. It's just unbelievable. The word is out. There he is. Yes. Oh yeah. <clears throat> War mouth. All right, guys, that took 30 seconds. And I got my first warm mouth. He's about seven. Pretty guy, though. You got your first fish. I sure did. Wow. I'm with Virgil today, guys. Wow. Look at there, man. Look how quick it was. Yeah. My goodness. You're good at fishing. And guys, this is uh, proof of what I just said. If I would have been using 10 pound line, a split shot, in a regular pole, I may not have caught this fish, or at least not that fast. You see the fish you can That's a nice one. Nice male spawning warmouth. He's good at fishing. fishing. It's not the size I'm after, but I am chasing a state record for this species, which is 1.4 pounds. About 11 and a half inches is my guess. And I've gotten 10 and 5 eighths. Okay. So I'm one inch away from the record. Fishy. You want to touch it? It's hard for the sun. Yeah, there we go. It's not a horrible one. Go touch it. Ooh, slimy fish. <laughs> I can't believe I caught one that quick. I might be able to use that same worm. Unless I'm doing really good. Yeah, they're bored. Oh my God. Did you see that? It just swam completely. Oh my God. Got it. Not the right size, but hey, I'm happy he swallowed the hook. Gosh, still the wrong size, man. It's gonna be another week or so. It could be in a couple days though. I don't know with the weather going backwards, they may back out. He's seven. You see the fish? Yeah, I got another one. He swallowed this thing bad. I don't think I can get it. Fish. Oh, it's in his, uh, God. Fish. I got it, but how weak's it gonna be now? Cause me pulling like that. All right, guys, another war mouth, exactly the same, about fish. right at seven inches. Oh man, I usually just give up and wipe it on me, even though I got wet wipes in my, wet wipes in my bag. That's too warm out today, guys. Both males, both about seven. Not the size I'm after. I'm looking for the 11 inch monster. Bluegill warm mouth or red ear, it doesn't matter to me. Preferably this, I'm trying to get the record. It just, the biggest one I've caught all week is eight, eight and a half. Just can't seem to get the size. The big boys have not moved in yet. It seems like the smaller fish are still right here. But I'm gonna keep coming and I'm gonna hit it on that right day. It could. There we go, guys, yes. I was patient and stayed till dark is what it took. That's a giant red ear too, man. Holy cow, yes. Finally, got what I came for. Just cannot give up, guys. That's the one I'm after. Big old female too. Oh yeah, oh, she's... 11 anyway. Oh my. 
What a horse. What a horse of a female red ear, at least 11, full of eggs. It's a nice red ear, guys. Just gotta put in that work, never give up. See if we can get another one. Oh yes! All right, guys, I was about to leave too. Yes, another big red ear. Yes, really nice, bigger than the first one, I do believe. No, same, exactly the same. It's a nice one though. It's a nice one. Oh my. And we have another female full of eggs. This was on there the whole time. What's been going on, guys? I keep getting these really tiny bites. And they just steal it. And this whole time, I've been thinking that it was little three and four inch fish. And it wasn't. It was these red ears the whole time. that smart and weary and what I did I decided you know what maybe this isn't a small fish and I just kept letting him bite it and bite it and finally after about 30 seconds of nibbling it went under if I would have just known this the whole day I would have caught a lot more fish because I was jerking it away from those fish because they were stealing my worms and it wasn't baby fish after all that's another nice Red ear. What a beauty. In fact, that is a nice one. Another 11 incher. I got two red ear, two warm mouth guys. Wasn't a terrible day. I didn't do great. But it's just going to get better and better for the next three weeks. That is a nice spawning female. Look at that belly. It's not huge. They don't really get big till about uh, 12. From 11 to 12 is a big difference. This one's right at 10 and a half, actually. It ain't even 11. My first one was bigger than this. It's a nice red ear, though. All right, we're gonna get her back so she can do her thing and continue spawning. It's a beautiful red ear, though. Goes and she splashed my camera. 